Hey guys, Kez here. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I know I'm doing great. Hey guys, I got a great video for you today. In front of me, or in front of you, however you want to look at it, I have a, a combat fighting knife. And this is an awesome knife. I, I absolutely love this knife, and it may even look familiar to you. Because I've had this knife at Kaz vs. Wild several times, many times. In fact, I think I've had it there every single year because I own two of them. And now this is a third one that I just recently picked up at a local store. And as you can see in front of you, its overall length is 12 inches. And it's a full tang knife, which I really, really like. It's got a nice hammer end to it. It's got a little hole in the end so you can add a little lanyard if you'd like. Now it's a matte stainless steel knife with a partially serrated edge, like the last two inches is serrated. And it's a brushed metal guard, both front and back. And it's got a black composition handle. It's not leather, but it's not cheap plastic either. It's a nice, it's a nice handle, with, got a good grip on it. So the blade itself, as you can see, is seven inches. The handle would then obviously be 5 inches to make up the 12 inches overall length. And the purpose of today's video is we are going to add this paracord here to this knife set. And we always know that paracord is a great thing to have around. And if you can have an extra 11 feet, which is what this is, amazingly, I'm going to add this 11 feet of paracord to this knife set. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So with my measurement, I have 11 feet of paracord here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave it onto the knife sheath. And I'm going to show you how I do that. But we're going to do it in a very unique way. I'm going to measure out approximately two feet. Um... I want to be just shy of two feet. So that's that and that's that. So we're going to go with this much right here. And I have it pinched off with my um, my fingers here. So we are going to do this. I've got it wrapped around this way. And that is my length right there of approximately 20 22 inches, maybe just a little bit more. All right, so this is, this is like 11, and then another 11, okay. So I have 22 inches from the end of the, of the sheath to the end of the rope. It's 22 inches. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to weave the rest of this onto the sheath and I'm going to show you why we have this extra here on the end. I'm going to show you after I get done weaving this on here. So let's let's get the weaving, eh? So we're going to go down this way. I'm going to pull this through. Now this is going to be a little cumbersome to get started, but as as we continue on you're going to get the gist of this idea. So I went down and now I'm going to come back up through here. I'm going to feed this through. All right. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around several times. And in fact, even more than more than several times. Now this may look familiar to you. I've done this on my other knives as well. And like I said, with this overall length right now, it's a little cumbersome, but we're gonna figure this out real quick here. And adding this paracord to your knife is really important. So I'm gonna continue on right now and I'm gonna fast forward through this. So.
All right, so now I have seven strands in here, and I'm going to add one more. I'm going to add an eighth strand in here. All right, so now we've got eight strands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight strands in there. And that's pulled fairly tight. All right, so now what we're going to do is I've got it locked down real good. Now I'm going to come through the bottom. I'm going to do the middle here. Okay. Come up from the middle. Go back down, just like that, okay, pull that nice and tight, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this next slot, and do the same thing again, up from the bottom, down through the top, Alright guys, and we are back and I have seven loops on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna add the eighth loop like I did down here. I'm gonna add this eighth loop. Okay. Perfect, got it right in there. All right, so now we've got eight loops. So we've got eight here, one here, eight here. I'm gonna do another one right here, okay? Come back down. Okay, so now that's what we got. Now I'm going to finish this, okay, I'm going to flip it over, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath both of these loops right here. I'm going to go underneath this one, I'm going to go underneath this one here, so you see I went underneath both of those, okay? I'm gonna pull that tight. Make sure this is all nice. It is. Then I'm gonna come up from the bottom. I'm gonna finish going down. And there we go. As you can see, perfectly laid out it looks great and my ends are pretty close I just got a few extra inches here that I don't mind cutting off so I can trim that down that's how this looks I'm gonna put the knife in here And there you have it. Finished product. Now, the reason why these hang off is so you can tie this around your leg. Okay? You've got 
the belt loop that goes here. So your belt would go through here like this. All right. And then if you wanted to, you'd strap this to your leg. And in fact, we're going to tie this off real quick right here. See, this is a longer one. So we're going to do a surgeon's knot real quick. Once. Twice. Just tie that off. Okay. There you have it.